Tonight at 5, this woman accused of orchestrating her ex-husband's murder will soon head back to Florida to face criminal charges. 36-year-old Shanna Gardner was in court this morning after getting an extradition warrant from the governors of Florida and Washington State. She's one of three people accused of plotting to kill Jared Bright again, her ex-husband. Her current husband, Mario Fernandez, is also charged. And then Henry Tenen, a tenant of Fernandez, admits that he was the gunman. Bridegan was shot and killed in February 2022. It was moments after he dropped off the twins that he shares with Gardner at the Jacksonville Beach home. Soon after his murder, Gardner moved to Washington State with the children. That's where she was arrested for his murder in August and where she's been in jail since. News for Jack supporter Vic Michalucci has been covering this story since Bridegan's murder, and he tells us that Gardner did not argue about her upcoming move back to Duval County. This is a big step forward in the Bridegan case. Authorities say that they will bring Shanna Gardner from Washington State across the country back here to Florida where she faces charges. And in the coming weeks, we could see her in court here at the Duval County Courthouse. She's going to be part of this case alongside the two co-defendants. Number 91 is Shanna Gardner. A short hearing as Gardner appears before a judge at the Benton County Jail. We've got a governor's warrant from both Florida and Washington. Her attorney says after 63 days behind bars, she's not fighting her extradition. Miss Gardner has chosen to waive her entitlement to habeas corpus relief. That means her next appearance will likely be in Florida. Yes, Your Honor. You have any questions? I do not, Your Honor. Thank you. She's coming back. She's facing first degree murder. We can expect a trial in a year, year and a half of both of them. Gene Nichols is a Jacksonville attorney not affiliated with the case. He says Gardner appears to be the last piece of the puzzle for prosecutors. Her August arrest follows her husband, Mario Fernandez, is in March. He faces the same charges, accused of communicating with and paying Henry Tenen, a man who rented a room from him. Tenen confessed to second-degree murder as the trigger man. He faces at least 15 years in prison in a deal to testify against Fernandez and Gardner. Does it look like right now there's a stronger case against Mario Fernandez than Shanna Gardner? For the one that Tenen communicated with, it's going to be a very solid case from the state attorney's office. The question is whether or not both communicated with Tenen and whether or not they end up turning on each other. Prosecutors say Gardner, Fernandez, and Tenen executed an elaborate setup to kill father of four Jared Bridegan in February 2022. Investigators say they placed this tire in the road, forcing Bridegan to stop after dropping his twins off at Gardner's home. And surveillance cameras captured Tenen's blue pickup truck near the scene around the time of Bridegan's brutal murder. Tonight, Bridegan's widow and brother say they have no comment about the ongoing case. As far as the exact timeline on this extradition, we just don't have it. The state attorney's office says because of security concerns, they're not going to release exactly when she will be brought back across the country, but it'll likely be in the coming weeks, and they'll let us know when she returns to Duval County. Downtown, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Both Gardner and Fernandez have pleaded not guilty. Their attorney is not commenting about details of the case. The state attorney says both are facing the death penalty if convicted.